it's looking very, very slim. I'm going to complete this marathon. Okay, I've had an absolute nightmare. It's getting dark outside. I need to go on a run so I can't talk. Let me go on a quick run and then I'll update you and tell you what this nightmare is all about. There is absolutely, it's looking very, very slim. I'm going to complete this marathon. Run, and then we'll chat. One point two five miles in. You can tell, can't you? I've got a stitch. I've had to stop. I fucked it. Absolutely fucked it. Just over three miles in. I'm going a lot quicker than what I normally do because it's getting dark and although I'm out in the open now when I get under them trees it's quite dark and I don't want to be on these country lanes with no lights in the dark when there's cars coming and I'm dressed in black three miles I've turned around because that road close sign and I'm heading back home so I'll probably do about four four and a half let's go back and that run was four and a half miles near enough 11 minutes and a bit a mile <laughs> it's actually my fastest I only did it because look how pitch black it is outside so let me plonk down and get my breath and I'll tell you just why I've absolutely made a mess of it Okay, I made this quick because I really want to shower. It's now week three of marathon training. Obviously my last vlog was week one. So if you sat there wondering where week two is like, end of week one, I finished that 10 mile run with chafing, I was really sore. So I took a couple of days off, you know, whacked myself in pseudocreme and Vaseline and just took some, some days off. And then I woke up on the Monday of last week Today's Thursday, by the way. Monday of last week or Tuesday. When the hell was it? Anyway, I woke up and I was just ill. I just had man flu. I felt sorry for myself. I went to Tesco and got some cold and flu stuff. And I just could not shift it. So all last week, I was just ill. Dragging myself out of bed trying to work. I had work stresses. I had personal stresses going on. So last week, I was just a bit of a mess. Didn't go to the gym. Couldn't run. <laughs> Still feel this shit now. But honestly... I was a mess. So moving into this week, it's now Thursday. Monday and Tuesday, I still felt crap. Well, yesterday, I was going to go on a run, but I was still chesty. And I thought, you know what? Just take that last day and just get better. So this morning, I woke up. I still feel a bit crappy, but nowhere near like I was last week. The issue is, the marathon is in what? Like nine days. And the longest I've ran is 10 miles, and I struggled my ass off. So... In all honesty, I don't know what I'm going to do. And in all honesty, I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this. I guess we'll just see. But this is kind of the start of week three. Even though it's Thursday coming to the end of week three. Going to have a shower. Early night. We'll just see. I just can't believe I've got this marathon next week. Catch you on my next run. Okay. Saturday today and it is the moment of truth obviously you know throughout this vlog I've been stupid I've not trained I booked the bloody marathon four weeks prior about a week off I'm nowhere near ready the marathon is a week tomorrow so today I've kind of told myself that this is going to be the moment of truth it's to do or die the cash or bust see how far I can physically run today and if I get to 10 miles again and I can't run like I did two weeks ago, then there's no point in turning up for the marathon, isn't it? Because I'm nowhere near going to complete it. So 
If I get anywhere close to even three quarters of the way, so if I can get 13, 14, 15 miles in today's run, the rest of it will just have to be done on pure mindset. So today is, I just want to see, I just want to see how far I can push myself now because I've run out of time. I'm not trained. I can't push myself next week because I obviously need to rest before the run. So let's just see. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go on the longest run I've ever ran up until now in my life. And I've got a little cheerleader today, a little supporter in my son. I had both kids yesterday. My daughter's gone to some sort of cheese festival with her mum. So it's just me and my boy tonight. And he is he's all dressed, he's ready. He's got his coat on, he's got his gloves on and he's gonna follow me behind on his bike and hopefully push me. I've also got my hands on some gels, some cheap gels, those run, running things that apparently give you fuel on the run. And I'm gonna use some gym tactics and use a pre-workout. I don't know if you're supposed to use pre-workout before cardio, I've never done it before. I normally do it for a weight session, but I'm just gonna nail some now, but let's go. Let's do it. Am I gonna do this marathon? Am I not? It all boils down to this run. One mile in, he's slacking. 2.2 miles in, my first stop, quick walk, I continue. At this stage, you don't feel that bad. 3.7 in, a little walk. Five miles in. 5.2 Little man's lagging behind Go and get a fuel up Put some Vaseline on my man bits He's starting to hurt And then on we go He's staying here, he needs a break I'll pick him up on the next mile Let's go! Seven miles in Ten point three. I'm starving. These gels aren't cutting it. I've had two gels on this run. Two hours, ten minutes pace. I'm not far from home. So I think I'm gonna whiz back, get a refill, get run over, whiz back, get a refill, and just nail a banana or something. I've definitely still got another lap in me. Definitely. 10.83, as you can see I've left the clock running. Little boys reckon he's gonna come and come with me. I've just had some after eights, some round trees. Definitely not the right nutrition. Picked up another two gels, some of these. Let's just see how more I can go. From a little boy. Let's go, you ready? Yep. We are. 11.25 miles in. It's officially the longest I've ever run in my entire life. My feet are killing me, my legs are killing me. All I do is get another lap in. Get to about 15, 16 miles and just see, just see how I feel. Come on. I'm worried I'm not gonna make the cut off point. What's the cut off point? 12 and a half, 13 miles at three hours. I'm currently at 11.95, two hours 40, which I know is shocking. Probably sat in the house for five or six minutes. I've got my little lad with me, which I'm not regretting, because he slowed me down, he's right back there. So when I get that cut off point, and then maybe I have to turn around and take him back. Just get that cut off point, Tony, come on. That is the first cutoff point. Just 13 miles, 13 miles, which is 12 and a half, 13 for three hours. And I've just done it, two hours and like 56. <sighs> Makes me feel a bit better that I can get to halfway point just by the cutoff point. So if I do this again at this pace, I'll just make it in the six hours. But obviously the last, the last half of the marathon. 
sure it's going to be much slower than the first, so I'm a little bit worried. But I've never run half a mile in my entire life, half a marathon, sorry, ever. So I feel positive, but I think if I'm honest, I could have gone a bit quicker, but as you can probably see behind me, the little 11 year old boy is trying, bless him, but my supper's slowing me down. So we're going to do the shortcut now and head back. Probably clock up about 14, 15 miles maybe. I'm happy with that. I'd love to speed that up and pretend I'm running, but I'm not. I think I'm just going to walk now. Just hit the 40 mile pace. 40 miles at about 40 minutes a mile. But I have just walked pretty much the last mile. He's a little man. But to be fair, if I was on my own, I would be running a bit, but not the full miles. I don't know how I'm feeling right now, but my legs, my groin, my back. I don't think you get a stitch in your back, but that's what it feels like. I'm done. Just want to get back now and have a think about am I going to be able to do this? Am I going to be able to do? What is it? It's another 11 miles, 12 miles on top. Another 12.2 miles on top of what I've just done. It's terrible light, you probably can't see me. But just finishing strong. About to walk into my house. Right now, come on. That was absolutely hell. But I just had to jog another 0.7 miles to finish on 15. So this is my run, listen. Or not. My battery has just gone and it's crashed. If that's lost my run, I'm gonna actual cry. But I did 15 miles in, I don't know, 15 minute pace, something like that. Hopefully if I turn my phone back on, it'll be there. Find out now. Just put my phone on charge and the run's not there. I've just ran the longest run of my life, bang on 15 miles, and my battery went and it crashed and it's not saved. I'm absolutely gutted. But what did I do it in? If it was a 15 minute pace, it was like three hours something. Sorry about that focus. It was three hours something, I can't work it out. I'm too tired. I'll talk to you tomorrow.